Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. School begins three weeks from Friday and the cost for school supplies can really add up. Are you prepared to send your child back to school? ABC 31's Char Thomas has some tips to help you save a little money. It is our big story tonight. Every year the cost of school supplies is becoming more and more expensive. The average American family spends about $600 on necessary school supplies that their children may need. Unfortunately, every family isn't able to send their child back to school with what's required on the supply list. Nevertheless, there is always help from the Rat Peace Parish School Board if families are facing economic hardships. Homeless advocate James Wood says some parents are afraid to admit that they may need help obtaining their children's back to school needs, but there is help with the homeless advocacy program. And if you don't qualify for the program, they will direct you to someone who can help you further. And if you would come into the school board, there's an application that you can fill out and um, you go through the application process and everything and we interview you and everything and then we will make, let you know if you're determined if you're homeless or not. At that point, we will provide you with school supplies, uniforms, and shoes, and we will help with any fees for the school year. Then, if you do not apply, if you do not qualify for the homeless program, we uh, direct you to area uh, agencies like the Salvation Army, local churches. For the parents who can purchase their child's school supplies and uniforms but would like to save a little money, there are always coupons and deals available in store or online. If you are willing to help a family, you can donate school supplies or uniforms to the Rapids Parish School Board and they will distribute the donations to families in need. To apply for the Homeless Advocacy Program, visit the Rapids Parish School Board. Shark Thomas, ABC 31 News. The family of 78-year-old David Hardy is renewing their request for help in finding him. The Alexandria man was last seen on July 8th. He has a halt on an Alzheimer's patient, and his family fears that he's disoriented. His vehicle was found on July 10th in Elizabeth with spoiled food inside. Family members say they just don't know where he, why he would have gone there. Please, please call Alexandria Police if you see him. A Dallas man is sentenced in Alexandria as the last defendant in a meth conspiracy case busted by the feds. 26-year-old Raul Perez Mendoza will serve more than five years in prison. He's one of eight accused in a conspiracy to peddle drugs from Mexico to Texas and southwest Louisiana. An El Salvador native is sentenced in Alexandria Federal Court to 11 months in prison for illegally re-entering the U.S. Jose Edmundo Martinez Ortiz of San Salvador will spend 11 months in prison. ICE officials say this is the second time he's been sentenced for that crime. Avoyal's deputies arrest a Hesmer woman on drug charges. Deputies say they searched the home of 41-year-old Rebecca Desel and found drugs, including around 160 pills. She's charged with possession with intent. The U.S. Justice Department says a Simsport woman, Venetia Draper, is now barred from preparing tax returns. They say the order from a federal judge says she's accused of preparing returns that understate income and overstate refunds. Oppressive heat is once again bearing down on central Louisiana. Let's get the latest on our weather now with meteorologist Ross Whitley. Yeah, we're going to be watching the heat build as we go throughout the next couple of days. Today was much drier than it has been. Temperatures only getting to 92 degrees today. That's right around where we should be for the seasonable average this time of year. We did pick up about one tenth of an inch of rain early this morning as a line of showers and storms move through, but most of the day has been dry. That theme is going to continue as we go throughout the week, and we're going to see those temperatures pushing that 95, 96 degree mark. Of course, I'll have the details on what you can expect coming up just a little bit. All right, thanks, Ross. The Family Justice Center of Central Louisiana opened its doors earlier this year. Executive Director Preston Mansour joined the Rotary Club this afternoon to discuss the center's mission and how they're trying to make a positive impact in the community. Louisiana currently ranks second in the nation in domestic violence homicides. A domestic violence in and of itself is 15% of the um, 
crime of violence, uh, a violent crime in the United States. So we have a, a big problem in this country and we have a big problem in this state. The mission of the Family Justice Center is to uh, get in early and work with survivors of uh, domestic violence and sexual abuse and we hope to reduce the recidivism rate of the uh, related crimes as well as to reduce the homicide rate of domestic violence uh, crimes. You can find out more about the Family Justice Center by visiting their websites or their Facebook page. They're located in Pineville off Hospital Boulevards. The Food Bank of Central Louisiana is reminding the public that donations are needed year round and not just during the holiday season. We see an increase in need during the summer because it is summertime and there's no school. All of those children across central Louisiana that were getting free and reduced breakfast and lunch are no longer getting that and they're at home all day. So families who were struggling during the school year, families who were struggling but getting by during the school year have a different situation now that it's summer. So kids are home. They're wanting to eat, obviously, they need right. to eat, and so it's a struggle. You know, if you're barely getting by, your budget's just, you're just making it. To find out about donating, food drives, or volunteering, you can visit the Food Bank of Central Louisiana websites or just drop by. When it comes to cleaning up the streets of Boston, this is who I am, this is what I do now, get me in there. He did it, and I know where the proof is. It's Ladies First, Rizzoli and Isles. Weekends at 11 on KLAX TV. When a case seems unsolvable, they see the incredible. Murder. Motive. Secrets. Bones. Weekends. Watch Bones. Weekends on KLAX ABC 31. Looking at our radar in satellite after the last couple of hours and most of the day has been dry. We had to burn off those low level clouds associated with a remnant outflow boundary earlier today, but you can already notice on the radar here. You see little streaks of green streaming forward. That's not showers. You notice there's no clouds with that. There's no rain there. That is actually humidity showing up on the radar and that is how much influence we're getting from the south and east and that's not good news as far as the temperature goes because we're going to be having that wind direction and that moisture being pulled into the state as temperatures are going to be soaring up into the mid 90s. So that is something to watch as we go the next couple of days. We're probably going to have heat advisories posted as we go not just tomorrow but for the next three days or so. Looking at our day planner, about 86 degrees for the noon hour, mostly sunny skies, and uh, that will continue to be a theme as well. We have very little chance of rain to help cool us off, and that also means cloud cover will be very sparse as we go throughout the next couple of days as well. So the heat is really going to be beaming down. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water if you stay outside. Now, what I was uh, talking about is that moisture you see streaming from the south and west. Look at Lake Charles, dew point at 77 degrees, Lafayette at 80 degrees, and all of that moisture is headed north. We're sitting currently at 73 degrees as far as our dew point. And of course, the dew point is the amount of moisture in the air. So if you lowered the air temperature to the dew point, it would be a relative humidity of 100%. Now it feels much worse outside when the dew point is higher and we're going to continue to see that dew point increase. Hot air moves in for the day really now. It's starting to move in now and the next few days we're going to continue to see that hot air. Mostly sunny, isolated storms, very, very warm over the next couple of days. All three things here to expect over the next three days. You notice pretty close to the same hot very low chance of rain and mostly sunny skies. Our surface map for the day tomorrow, isolated storms associated with monsoon moisture, but here locally see that nice green arrow pointing that humidity right into Louisiana and high pressure system that was over the panhandle has now slid south and east. And you notice the green in the southeast has shrunk even more, so there's a very little chance of rain really all across the southeast. Our forecast lows out there tonight right near 71, 70 degrees, pretty clear skies, and uh, we'll just see a southwest wind around five miles per hour. Our forecast highs tomorrow, yeah, about four degrees warmer than today, 
about 95 degrees. And then check out these heat indexes as we get into the afternoon. 103 to 105, and 105 is the heat advisory range, so I would not be surprised to see it issued for the day tomorrow. Our extended forecast showing the heat over the next three days, and then a cold front moves in for the weekend, helping to cool us off, make things a little bit nicer. So something to look forward to there. So that's your seven-day forecast. Scott? All right, thank you, Ross. Money can't buy love, but might it buy happiness? A new study suggests, in some cases, the answer might be yes. With more, here's Emily Rao. Time. For many of us, it's one thing we don't have enough of. And with daily demands like running kids to soccer practice or dealing with that pile of laundry, it's normal to feel pressed for time. But now, a new study revealing that people who spend more of their money on purchases to save time, like hiring cleaners or paying for someone else to do the cooking, reported greater life satisfaction than those who did not. Researchers finding that this held true regardless of income. Yet despite this, nearly half of the wealthiest people in the study spent no money to save themselves more hours in the day. In a second experiment, the researchers finding that time-saving purchases brought more joy than even material goods. So next time you think about buying a new t-shirt, think twice. You might just want to pay to have your old ones folded instead. With this Medical Minute, I'm Emily Rao. Tai Chi may help prevent falls in older adults. Tai Chi is an ancient Chinese exercise that has been used to improve balance and flexibility. Researchers in Spain analyzed a group of studies on Tai Chi and its effects on the elderly. They found just one hour of Tai Chi a week may reduce falls by nearly half. Benefits were seen after about six months of practice. Coming up in sports, one high school football team is giving back to the community. Enter to win a carport from Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. An $800 value in the color of your choice. Plus option to upgrade to something bigger at Quality Outdoor Products. To enter, register online, on Facebook or Twitter. Enter daily to increase your chances of winning. This carport could be yours from KLAX TV and Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. See official rules at KLAXTV.com. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapastora. The Holy Savior Menard High School football team gave back to the community today. The team volunteered at the Manor House preparing and serving meals to those in need. It's something that many students from the school take part in several times a year. Their ultimate goal is to aid in ending hunger in the central Louisiana area. Last month, the team served about 7,000 people and helped to continue raising that number. Well, thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night. Days. Who is ready to get fired up? Two on this. Get ready to open wide. Celebrate your summer with an explosion of our greatest grilling eats. It's our busiest baby back burger filled barbecue summer yet. Excellent. The Chew weekdays on ABC. Watch The Chew weekdays at noon on KLAX ABC 31. Brought to you locally by Town and Country Meats. The best meat you'll ever eat. Our military makeover recognizes the sacrifice of a deserving young Marine. Tune in and learn about an American hero, the community and the companies who come together to give back 